The Washington Post. Who can go in there? Anybody or? No. People with tickets. Tickets. Okay. Do you know where I can uh, inquire about a ticket? Tickets were uh, done through a lottery online. Yeah. I'm going to meet you. I'll be there. Unless you want to meet down here. Yeah, I want to come down here because I need to get. Because I got to go meet down here. The other way you can watch is go to the lead auditorium. The lead arena down the road. The lead arena. That's correct. Overflow. Okay, thanks. Maybe someone has a friend who didn't show up. Anybody got an extra ticket? Don't worry, baby. Brian Wilson, smile. Oh, hi. Wow. Divine light dancers do learn. Oh, hi, how are you? Hi, how are you? Today's special, two chili dogs. We do not accept credit cards. Media filling room, credential required. Hi, how are you doing? What's happening? Hi, how are you? How are you? Good. Hey, how are you? Thank you. Woodstock has a water problem. They're trying to put in low income housing, 50 units, and it's on a septic system. And they have wetlands. Their Woodstock needs help from Dartmouth for their low income housing. Who knows? And who knows? Perhaps Dartmouth could help them. Maybe Woodstock could be the first internet campus, pick the internet school you want and live in Woodstock so you have classmates your own age, perpetually young part of town. Gotta make sure that people can walk. Kevin McDonald. Jennifer Kane paintings. Woodstock needs help with their low income housing, the septic overload. trust someone else pick up your ticket huh should the entire US Treasury be broken into 300 million individual trust accounts to be monitored 
and a small token fee paid for doing so. Trust. Hey there. Hey, hey, hey. A great dog and pony show. Hi, I'm late and I'm interested in getting a ticket. Are you going to have any provisions if someone doesn't claim their ticket by a certain time that there's a second lottery? Yeah, there, there might have some um, extras, um, but there's no guarantee right now. Um, right. But I think in near the cafe is, is where people are going to gather to try to be... Um, Over th this cafe down the hall? Yeah, starting at 6 p.m. At 6 p.m.? Okay. Um, let me see. Um, 6 p.m. Uh, yeah, we used to keep a hundred tickets aside for the day of the show, so that people that weren't all plugged into the yeah, but unfortunately, I don't think they've done they've been, that. they haven't intentionally held any back. No. Okay. Uh, thank you for your help. You're welcome. You're welcome to Mr. Hale. Why do you ask? We met four years ago. Well, that's wonderful. If we were socializing, I'd be happy. But since we're trying to role model, it's not a police state. Uh, you should start maybe say, Mr. Hale, may I interrupt you and ask permission to barge into my life? I apologize for that. Okay, well thanks. That's part of the reason I love Dartmouth so much is you understand logic and integrity and role modeling to the world that America is truly a civilian sovereign country. Would you mind, Mr. Hale, if we stepped out of the line and, and had a conversation? Well, I finished my business here. Perfect timing. Sure. Why don't we? Uh, is it Mr. Hale? Because I, my memory might. Well, let me just smile at you and make you feel good about what a good job you're doing. Uh, how are things going for you? Was it your cell phone battery had run out last time? <laughs> no, sir. Oh, that was your supervisor then. Uh, it might have been. My supervisor and I spoke to you at the Democratic debates. Didn't you have an office to the side somewhere? Um, no. Upstairs near the top of the stairs. We were in the alumni gym. Yeah. And it was concerned because you had a big bag on your shoulder then. Right. And you were getting ready to enter and Mr. Clinton was about to speak. Right. And I think we and went through everything and I ended up going in. You did. Yeah. Yes, sir, you did. Because you provided identification. Right. And you let us check out what you had. To right. Make sure you were okay. Right. And you were perfectly cooperative. Right. Yeah. We so had a good we, time. We did. And we decided. You're all set. So can, saw, we, can we do that again? Why because not? My memory yeah. might not do me well. I want to say it's Bob Hale, but I, yeah. I could be wrong. Do you have any identification? Well, I do, yeah, but for uh, us, the important thing is the scientific method rather than the logic of retribution. We prefer going through everything and being scientifically sure that everything's safe to the idea of who you are, where you live, so I can find you again. If you cause me any problem, I'll make sure you have a big problem. I, I keep yeah. my name right on. Well, that's part of getting the authority, but for us out here... Oh, I don't mind. I don't mind being filmed. Oh, yeah, it's... Uh, I'll even smile, Mr. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> do we have to get a letter from our doctor to be Stephen Hawking's or what, you know? But uh, Let's look through the stuff. Okay, but yeah. I would rather see identification. But we'd rather not, because thou shalt not worship any graven or engraven images is the first commandment that Moses taught us when he came down from the mountain. It's more important to do the scientific method, have a metal detector, have the wipes for the chemicals like TSA has. It's more important to do that. We can't block the uh, right away. Let's move over here. So, what, what, what do you have? You 
know if you try and go in, they're going to, the police are going to search your bag and metal detect you. Yeah, with the, because of the special event here, you, I thought maybe you'd have metal detectors at your main door. We will, of, before you can get into the event. But right now, it's just a normal campus day. Uh, the Students day before, coming. maybe, I'd start setting it up. Everyone's going That's through a day control. before. That's out of my If it blows up hell. within 48 hours on either side of the event, they got a victory, right? I don't know, Mr. Hale. Yeah. I, I'm just one of these guys we are done here that just... <laughs> Well, that's the beauty of America, no matter how low we are. Look at me, I have no public office, I don't have no income, I'm living off my inheritance, spending my principal like the Ben Bernanke's doing. But you, you did run for president. I, well, I put my name in as the Cincinnatus candidate. I came up, remember I was saying like yes. the Romans asked Cincinnatus to yes. be their dictator. To, I remember you were I looked up where John Boner's district is like about two or three months ago. You know where John Boner Boehner's district is? I have no idea. Cincinnati, Ohio. They made the Speaker of the House Cincinnati. This is a battery. I don't yep. know how we can prove it. I understand that. No, Somebody could camouflage it or something, but I can show you this. It puts out Mr. voltage. It's fine, Mr. Hale. Well, it's good because we trust each other, but as it gets bigger, if, we, if we, New York wants to do as Dartmouth does, mm -hmm. if Dartmouth wants to lead the world and attract all these good students that you have, yep. we've got to convince them that we can test batteries and the electrical department here should be contacted for the next event. And they should have... Uh, this is probably dead. Well, there's still a green light. These last about two hours, an hour and a half. Yeah, that's a lot to carry, Mr. Hale. If it is Mr. Hale. Uh, well, uh, you can call me Cincinnati. <laughs> no, anything that's polite is okay with me. I'm not trying to be a privileged character. I want to be treated like anyone, and I think it's... That's what they do in Iraq, in Iran. It's such hypocrisy, because they're so religious. They say no <laughs> graven images, and they want a CID, first thing. And if we can teach them that it's the scientific method. They were buying things from England that were superstitious. You could go at a distance and it was supposed to tell you if there were explosives. It was a phony deal. We, we at Dartmouth, though, tend to go the other direction. We tend to want identification first, uh, and then we decide what is safe or unsafe. Right, so but it, it's wrong because Moses taught us, thou shalt not I, I don't put any... I go by Moses. I go by Proctor Kenny. And he tells me to get identification. Proctor Kenny? Yes, He's, our director. So I mean, he gives me a directive yeah. and says, Teddy, I need you to do this. That's what I do. So yeah. we had a call of concern because right. of all the things you were carrying yeah. and you understand what's going on today. And... That's why I need to see some sort of notification to see who I'm talking to because my memory from four years ago, yeah. I, I don't know. Um, but I would appreciate it if you've got any form of identification. Yeah. And if I didn't, then what would we do? We'd have to have a matter of trust and we'd have to find out who you are. Yeah. I tried this 4th of July in Washington, D.C. I said, look, if I can prove to you I have a sense of humor, uh, and I have my feet on the ground, is that good enough? And the officer said, yeah. So I told him a joke, and he laughed. It was such a good joke. Then he said, I said, can you tell me a joke? And he told me a joke, and it was funnier than my joke, and then he left. <laughs> <laughs> and then later his joke came true, because his joke was about a parrot. And the guy walks into the store, and uh, what is it? he's asked the pet shop owner about something and the parrot says something and finally it is is that all you can say and uh, and the guy says is that all the parrot can say and the parrot says sick him and the dog comes and jumps on the guy <laughs> and sure enough some bad cops later sicked me and jumped on me by the outhouses they were not interested in anything, went through my stuff, stole some of my business cards. I have a video of the whole thing. It's really depressing. In Washington, D.C., our national capital, you guys ought to send two of your best officers to visit, if not to the recruiting